The term etiquette can go farther than simply keeping your elbows off of the dinner table. Barbara Lang, former career advisor and owner of the Etiquette Factor, filled Hewitt Union Ballroom with students eager to learn proper attitudes and actions that could be helpful when involved in the job searching process. You know, when you wake up in the middle of the night and those fears that you might have before an interview that something's going to happen. So you can ask those. Barbara says that her goal is to help students be etiquette ready for any circumstance that they might be thrown at in their future. What I want them to be able to gain is confidence is to be able to move forward and know how to navigate in situations that are familiar, unfamiliar, awkward, and downright embarrassing. I want them to be able to know how to pick themselves up and to minimize the collateral damage and to be able to really act in a way that's of benefit to other people. All attendees were asked to dress in business attire to make the experience as professional as Lang would like it to be. She demonstrated proper ways to handshake, explain which hand passes the bread and which one passes a drink, how to act polite in a restaurant, and which fork to use and when. This year, wine is not offered, but for students who are looking to be more knowledgeable on the pairing and tasting of wine, they can look forward to next fall's etiquette dinner here at SUNY Oswego. Lang reminds students that the market is competitive and that they need to be too. I'm Allie Stewart, Oswego Now.